Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjago video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we are going to be discussing the character of Jay in Ninjago Dragons Rising and how exactly he lost his memory. Now, this is still a major mystery surrounding Jay's character. We know that he has lost his memory as he does not recognize the ninja nor himself as a ninja, but how did he lose his memory? So in my opinion, this theory checks out if and only if another certain Ninjago fan theory is correct correct. That of course being the idea that each of these seven source dragons has some type of control or influence over specific elemental powers. We can infer this based on the fact that each source dragon does indeed have a marking bearing a striking resemblance to an elemental power. For example, the motion source dragon is obviously representing fire, despite being called the motion source dragon. Some fans, including myself, have speculated before that maybe every single source dragon has some type of connection to various elemental powers. For example, again, the motion source dragon could be the source, if you will, of the fire elemental power, alongside other elements fitting the motion category. Something like the source dragon of strength could be the origin of the earth power and other strength-based elemental powers out there. Now enter the energy source dragon, which has a striking resemblance to the elemental power of lightning. This is how it ties back to J. If the theory surrounding the source dragons being the sources of elemental powers is proven correct, well, the source dragon of energy is very well going to be the source of the lightning power. Who has the lightning power in Ninjago? Jay. But what does that have to do with him losing his memory, though? Well, the energy source dragon has kind of had a rough go in Dragons Rising so far. When we first saw the thing, he was captured by Imperium in their basement, with his power being drained slowly but surely. And it has been confirmed that this happened even before the merge. The energy source dragon was already captured by Imperium before the merge even started. What if when the merge happened, assuming that the capture of the energy source dragon is not what caused the merge, what if the energy source dragon's power being drained had an effect on elemental masters whose powers originated from the energy dragon? For example, a master of light like J. Maybe this caused some type of cosmic fluke where the energy being drained from the energy source dragon was also drained from energy elemental masters like J. And while J did not lose his powers necessarily, he lost his memories instead. A part of J was still lost because the energy source dragon was not able to keep all of its components balanced during the merge, unlike other source dragons who were able to keep all of their aspects of existence in check. The energy source dragon might not have been able to do that, hence J losing his memories. Now with that being said, if all of that turns out to be true, there are a couple of questions that will inevitably be answered. The first of which being how come none of the other ninja are affected? Well, when you look back at the source dragons as a group, to me it's obvious that Jay is the only one affected by the energy source dragon here. Lightning is probably the only elemental power that we've seen from the ninja that comes from the energy source dragon. All of the other elemental powers fit in nicely with other categories and other source dragons that we've seen. And with that in mind, the second question rises here, what about other elemental masters that might belong to that category? What about them? Well, it's possible Possible that like Jay, maybe they also lost something. Maybe their memories were corrupted and lost as well. This could also explain why in the tournament we might see characters like Tox and Mr. Pale fighting on the side of Lord Rass. Maybe like Jay, their memories were also corrupted because perhaps Poison and Light respectively also come from the energy source dragon. Lord Rass could very well be recruiting all of the known elemental masters descended from the source dragon of energy for his team, if you will, during the tournament of season two, part two. He's done that with Jay. Jay is very clearly on the wolf mask side this time. Who's to say the other elemental masters are not? Or even how many other elemental masters were affected by the energy source dragon? What are all of the elements that come from the energy dragon? That is a very good question. Now, to be fair, a lot of this does only work if, again, a specific Ninjago fan theory is proven to be correct, but I feel like it is, and I feel like there's a lot of evidence out there for that theory being true. Of course, the theory that every single source dragon is pretty much the source, if you will, of a few specific elemental powers. But just for fun, let's talk about a few other fan theories super fast surrounding the J memory loss arc. Now, it could very well be the administration. Obviously, J is working with the administration. He has been for 
for quite some time, pretty much ever since the merge. It is possible that the administration found Jay unconscious, maybe they convinced him to join their side, maybe he woke up not having any memories. I will say, I do enjoy my other theory more, but I gotta admit, there is some type of leverage there for the administration being the reason why Jay has no memory, because Jay has been with the administration for this long. Maybe the administrator, whoever he or she might be, ordered Jay's memories wiped. Maybe they are in cahoots with Lord Rass. Maybe he was formulating this as a backup plan just in case his other plans did not work out. And with the plan of the Forbidden Five being foiled at the end of season two, part one, maybe this is his backup plan. He needs to recruit other elemental masters, maybe other elementally charged beings who just so happen to be at the administration, mind wiped and ready to go. Maybe that's what Lord Rass's backup plan was this entire time. Because we've seen Lord Rass improvise plans before. It's not like this could not be a backup that he had in the back pocket this entire time. The entire thing with Imperium fell apart, for example. As a result, he moved on to the Forbidden Five. That did not work the way that he wanted to. The only other option now is the Source Tournament. He needs teams. Well, he's had this backup plan formulating this entire time, and this plan includes many mind-wiped elemental masters maybe working for the administration unknowingly ready to serve Lord Rass at a moment's notice. Or, you know, maybe it's something stupid like Jay just bumped his head one time. That could very well make sense too. It's Jay, so we at least need to consider that as a possibility, right? But I do believe that this does make a lot of sense, especially because, again, each elemental power has the potential to be traced back to a very specific source dragon. In the case of Jay, he is the only ninja whose power could come from the energy source dragon, hence why he was the only one that was a Affected. I personally think that this theory makes a ton of sense, and honestly, this is probably what I'm going to stick with until we hear otherwise from the show. It's probably not going to be made clear in the show what exactly happened to Jay, how he lost his memories, until the ninja eventually do unlock those memories. I still think that the ninja will find Jay for the first time in the tournament. Maybe he will face one of the ninja, preferably Cole or Nia, just because I feel like that would make for the most interesting story, but eventually Jay will cross paths with the ninja and when he does, all of this will be revealed. Maybe not so much the source dragons having ties to the ninja's elemental powers. That will probably arrive at a later date. With that being said though, guys, again, this was just a theory on the part of myself. Could this happen? For sure. Could it also be something completely different? Absolutely. I am just a Ninjago fan like all of you. I have no insider knowledge or any of that. I just have fun speculating just like a lot of other Ninjago fans out there. And with that being said, leave all of your thoughts and theories down below in the comments section. What exactly do you think about all of this, and do you feel as though maybe I'm onto something here? If not, understandable. What exactly do you guys think happened to Jay? Leave all of your thoughts down below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this one, feel free to like and subscribe. Do all that fun stuff, and I will talk to you guys again very, very soon. Peace.